So it's a very good morning to all our viewers all around the world. We are in the Garden City of Bengaluru and we're here for the second test match between uh, India and New Zealand at the Chinnaswamy Stadium here in Bengaluru. Lovely conditions here will uh, greet the players. Uh, nice cool temperatures as uh, Duncan Fletcher emphasizes uh, the point of uh, keeping the winning habit going. But the Indian team uh, look pretty fresh and uh, keen out there. They'd like to keep their home record uh, intact. New Zealand, on the other hand, have a chance to uh, bounce back in this test match. Bangaluru normally has a sporting track and uh, New Zealand uh, bowlers uh, will much prefer bowling on this surface as compared to Hyderabad. I've got Simon Dool with me. Morning, Simon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, morning, Ravi. I certainly will. At the moment, though, it looks uh, like a fairly good batting wicket. I was out there with uh, Sonny Gavaska earlier and he said it is a bat first wicket. It certainly looks nice, it's flat, the, the ground looks magnificent. I have to say they've done a wonderful job here in Bengaluru. It looks uh, reasonably hard, the even pace, but it's the overhead conditions I think that might dictate what happens throughout this game. And whether it's going to be a little bit humid, and that'll help the ball to swing so Look out for uh, the swing bowlers to maybe have a little bit of benefit here, a little more than they did have in Hyderabad. A high of 26 and a low of 19 degrees. Mostly cloudy for the day. And uh, looking at the pitch to watch out earlier, Ravi Shastri was out there at the toss. Coin went up, super shots. And the good news as far as New Zealand were concerned, that that's something they won. And won the toss, and Ross Taylor elected to bat first, Ravi. I think uh, everybody probably presumed that that would be the case. <laughs> That's a lovely shot off the back foot. That'll be another boundary for Martin Guptill. And it ends the Zahir Khan over. 17 for one. And there comes the edge and third slip has dropped it. Virat Kohli is the man, went to his left. And I think it was Suresh Raina at second slip. Well, these catches need to be taken. 
it was at a good height, forcing the batsman to play at it. And look at that comfortable height. It probably would have gone to Suresh Raina. But this is a split second decision. Split second decision. But that should have been taken. A straight to Suresh Raina. Good looking shot. We'll pick up four here, Kane Williamson. So Yuma Shiadev into the attack, pulled away by Gupdal, up very tall, and that will race away. Another boundary for New Zealand. Good start by Gupdal. This time he goes full, and that will be picked away, four through square leg. So he went fuller this time, but lost his line, and Martin Gupdal's got back-to-back -back boundaries. Full and straight, and that's picked off again. Very strong through that leg side, and that will be the third boundary in the over. Expensive start for Yedov. Oh, it's a good start to the over. OJ has picked up Williamson. Little outside edge. Was it leg before? Went through to. It was leg before. Went through to uh, Sewag at first slip. But. Uh, I think actually looking at it, it might be leg before the leg before wicket. So Williamson out and Oja has struck. That's what he was trying to do since morning. Bowl that middle and leg line. It's been not enough turn on the pitch. This one has gone on straight to hit to the pads. But he'll be disappointed. Williamson one he, once he looks at the replay. Well, he's been dismissed. Out for 17. New Zealand 63 for two. And Ross Taylor, the New Zealand skipper, comes to the crease. Approaching uh, 3,000 test match runs. And that continues. Uh, that'll be four. And it'll be 50 for Martin Guptill. He squeezed that away down through third man and a test match half century for Martin Guptill. Very well played. He needs to carry on. Martin Gutul is second test 50 versus India. Nice, nicely played. You know, drifting into the pads of Ross Taylor, and he was well and truly up to that. 74 for two. That's swept away. He'll get four for it. In fact, it's gone the distance. And this is where he is uh, so dangerous, and that's why the crowds used to love him here. That's, it! that's in the air, yeah! taken. That's a poor shot. He'll be really disappointed. He's given it away, Martin Gupton. Good piece of bowling once again by Pragya Oja. He had the field up, and uh, he forced Gupton to take the aerial route. Uh, absolutely right. Poor option. What is Martin Guptill looking to do here? Hit the ball in the air, over the top. There's just no patience. Again, there's no patience. And Pragyam Oja has picked up another wicket. So his second, and New Zealand lose their third. Martin Guptill, he goes for 53, and it is 89 for three. Daniel Flynn comes out to the middle. In the air, just short of square leg. He's living dangerously there, Ross Taylor. It wasn't the greatest shot option there. Five minutes before lunch, and did this carry? No, just short. Nicely clipped. And again, Tendulkar. Well, the ball has followed him this session of play. 108 runs coming in that first session for New Zealand after winning the toss and deciding to bat first. So, there you go.
Got away behind point. Just be one, will it? No, it won't. It'll be four. It will be. It's raced away. A misfield and brings about four for Daniel Flynn. Umesh Yadav. Just a little mistake. 113 for three. No point fielder for Ross Taylor. <coughs> oh, beautifully timed. And that's more like it from Ross Taylor. Bring the offside into play. Well, this time through mid wicket to the boundary. You could see that slot sweep was coming. Praganoja wouldn't mind that. Wow. 50 for Ross Taylor. Virat Kohli is very, very lucky to still be out on the field. If that was straight, that might have uh, done some real damage. And he's given everything behind the shot, Ross Taylor. The weight was going on the back foot. He crashed it through covers. It was uppish. But too quick for Virat Kohli at short cover. Throwing the kitchen sink. Bang. And a good half century by the captain. A very quick one. Just 46 deliveries. This time over point. And this will go to the boundary as well. It brings the 50 partnership and the fourth boundary of this over. He's reached for it and he's going to take four runs for it. So Ross Taylor is going at a fair clip here. The strike rate at the moment, 119.6. Oh, that was par. Par from Ross Taylor. I like this. This is more like it from Ross Taylor. Keeping the ball along the ground, picking the deliveries. This is just quality. It's not a genuine half volley, but that has been timed to perfection. Yeah, hit very much on the up. You can see that in the ultra slow motion when the bat doesn't tremble in the hand or there's no shaking of the bat, you know it's come from the meat of it. Here we go again. Well, the weight transfer wasn't perfect, but he is such a powerful hitter of the ball. Right at this moment, New Zealand batsmen are in control. Averted. That would have been disaster. That would have been another gift to India. Complete misunderstanding. Just for a moment, he thought both of them would be stranded right in the middle of the pitch. Stop, start. That was Ross Taylor's fault. He said yes, then stopped. Flynn reacted, and he was gone. He was short. That's the last thing New Zealand would have needed. And Ross Taylor put his hand up and apologised. He knew it straight away. He can't believe that he's just opened the door for India. Flashes and flashes hard. And that brings up the 100-run partnership. They've raced away to the boundary. No half measures whatsoever there. Yes, the New Zealand captain meeting fire with fire. He really has uh, taken this Indian attack apart. 83 from 71. Flicked away, beautiful shot. And he'll get four. So consecutive boundaries here for Ross Taylor. He's got to be careful with that shot. Yeah, it's gone up. He's been dismissed uh, in the past. As just said a little while earlier, he's got to keep his cool and not try anything flash. There's absolutely no need to play that shot. Once again, he's been a judge leg before. Ah, three from three for Ashwin against Flynn. Same shot, same delivery. Look at it, very straight, sliding on no turn. And that looks pretty good. I don't think height's an issue there. Steve Davis took a wee while to have a look. Not a great option against Ashwin. Flynn, after a good innings, goes for 33. It's time for a drinks break. Thirty-one years of age, the all-rounder in the side. 
gone. No chance for Tendulkar at point. Ross Taylor gets into the 90s. He's batting 93 of just 83 balls. Three dismissals of the same nature in the test match this time. This is the luck sometimes bowlers have. It's another loose delivery from Oja. Not a short ball this time, it was a full toss. And look what's happened. James Franklin is walking back. It's a soft dismissal. He and the captain both will be disappointed. A full toss into the hands of mid-wicket. A good catch by Suresh Raina. Full toss on middle stump, hitting the bottom of the bat. And a good catch by Suresh Raina to his left. There wasn't much power behind the shot because it's hit the toe of the bat. Franklin dismissed for eight. New Zealand lose their fifth wicket. Kruger van Wyk, seven test matches. At an average of 18, he needs some runs. He seems very calm at the moment. Playing the spinner around the wicket. Oh, he'll get two runs for it. Or oh, will he be happy? Did... No. The wicketkeeper was keen. This could be close. Is he gone? No, he dives it just in time. Boy, drama out there. But it ends with Ross Taylor not out 97. That's the last thing New Zealand would have needed. A run out. Sehwag was gingering onto the ball at point. And look how far Ross Taylor had come. A good dive at the end. He will remain on 97. And he's going to move on to 101 after that shot. Look at that expression on the face. That's such an important innings for him at this stage of his test career. He's the captain. Lost the first test badly. He needed to lead by example in the second test match. His seventh test hundred. Third versus India. And his first in this country. A very good one. A captain's knock. And it's come in very, very quick time in 99 deliveries. Just a bit of room. Rocking back onto the back foot. And hitting it into the gap behind point. He's happy. Very rightly so. A terrific hundred. He's seventh in test cricket. Means a lot to the camp as well. All kinds of batting issues in the first test match. And he's got to 100. And you get the feeling now he's going to unleash himself on the spinners. It's a very confident shot. From the crease with the turnover mid-off. He's a strong man, Ross Taylor, a very strong bottom hand. Solid in defence there. Just two from that over. New Zealand 240 for five. Now it looks like it's going to be T. Umpires decided that is the end of the second session. Players leaving the field. New Zealand 240 for five. And New Zealand after winning the toss and batting.
bowling, Pragya Noja, the pick of the bowlers, 4 for 90. It was accurate, he tossed the ball up, varied his pace nicely. The wicket apiece for Zahir and uh, Ashwin. Okay, James, this play. Well, good start for Bracewell. He's underway with a boundary. Leg side from Umesh Yadav. And it is tucked away. Straight and hard and four. Finish to the over again for Doug Bracewell. 341 for six. That's an edge then taken beautifully. Excellent catch. Good bowling by Zahir. He finds the outside edge. A good spell so far. There it is. Bouncing a little bit more than he anticipated. Trying to run the ball down to third man because there was no third slip in position. But he got a little too close to the ball and Zahir got his man. The partnership 99. It's a crucial partnership and this is a very good innings from Fonwick for 71. 3.45 for 7. Saudi has made some useful contributions for New Zealand in the past 77 his highest that's a good shot over pitched and smashed down the ground he brings up Bracewell's highest score in test match cricket oh that should be out and if it is it will be very unlucky because the ball's gone back and hit the stumps it's taken uh, Zahir's finger on the way. Yes, I think so. Yes, he's well short of the crease, well short of the crease. The dive is not going to help him at all. Now that's most disappointing. It's hardly the way you want to end your innings. He's played so well for his 43. He'll consider himself uh, unlucky. Luckily for Zahir, the ball going through his hands. 3.53 for it. Oh, that's an interesting shot first ball, Ravi. Jason Patel is obviously going to continue the mantra of the New Zealand batsman, come in and play a few shots. What ironic, Tim Southey telling Jason Patel not to be playing a shot like that. Used to seeing Tim Southey give himself room, flash it through the offside. Yeah, mate. Oh, there he goes. It's in the air and it's taken. Carried all the way down to third man. Yedev's got a wicket. Patel's only lasted two ball and he's found the fielder at third man. So Indians will take this. They've taken three quick wickets this morning. And all of a sudden, uh, New Zealand looking to get 400. And now a 353 for nine, just picking the fielder in the deep. And Gautam Gambhir making no mistake, first wicket for Umesh Yadav. And New Zealand now 353 for nine. That short pulled. Pulled a long, long way back. The man can only look and see it sail for six. Big blow by Southie. That's a massive hit, and he made it look easy. Left arm spinner Oja back into the attack. What is it? He's given him a loud shout. And the finger goes up. A five wicket haul here for Pragyan Oja. And this is the third time he's done it in his test career. And New Zealand bowled out for 365. Wow, it turned, didn't it? Let's have a look. Only took one delivery from the spinner. Pitched very straight. And then just turned. It's Southie on the back leg. Pretty good decision. Good piece of bowling. Nice and straight. Just gripped and turned. Yep, back leg. Front of middle and off. Yeah, pretty easy decision. Steve Davis. Five foot for Olja. Well deserved, he's bowled beautifully for India. Opened up, bowled the first over in the test match. And he ends up with Pfeiffer next to his name. Southern New Zealand.
for 365. Captain Gambia, Barinda Sewag. How will their response go? Will they come out attacking like the New Zealanders did on day one? Excellent record for the left-handed Gambia. Been a bit shorter runs in recent times. And his partner, as always in recent times, uh, his Delhi teammate, Virendra Sehwag, even more experienced than Gautam Gambhir. Two test matches away from a hundred test match. There it is, comfortable head and almost on the second attempt was taken by the second slip fielder. Well, it was a regulation chance. Outside edge, it can't get easier in test cricket. Genuine Nick. Hip height. That's bowled in. No shot offered by Gautam Gambhir. You can see what was happening in his mind, sort of, you know, when he wasn't playing that well, when the catch was dropped, he was practicing the leave alone shot. He, he was telling himself that this is a pitch where you want to leave balls alone not play too many deliveries. He just picked the wrong one to leave. This, oh, <laughs> good news coming a little delayed for Tim Saudi, but this is a great start for New Zealand. They've looked impressive, and now they've got the results to show. Gambir gone for two, it's five for one. Lovely shot. This was overpitched. Sewa trying to stamp his authority here. Tight. Oh, could have been gone. Williamson was the man. There was a dive from both fielder and batsman, but uh, no harm done in the end. 22 for one. The last ball of uh, Trent Bolt over. Rinda Sevak dropped one just down on that offside. Took off quickly. And Williamson came in from Gully. New Zealanders were acting as though it would have been out. Very close. Yeah, it would have been touch and go. It's a dive from both. Well, that was quite clearly putting his feet up for Suresh Raina. In the air. It's a chance. It is, and it's taken. Trent Bolt, a good bouncer from Saudi, and Bolt running around to his left, his favoured side, has taken the catch. New Zealand strike again. And what a good bouncer. What a very good bouncer that was. Well directed. Came at Cheteshwar Pujara at a good height. Cramped him for room. He's a good puller of the ball. He's a good puller. But uh, there you see, taking the edge, playing the hook shot, shot is always fraught with risk and this one was in the air for too long allowed the fielder to get to it and India have lost their second wicket Pujara and they're 27 for two Sachin Tindulka is out in the middle uh, it was a good bouncer Sonny you mentioned that it. it was at the badge, it was a little bit around about that middle, middle and off stump, so he had to pull it around. And Trent Bolt did very well running around the boundary, taking that catch. It was the height, wasn't it? Very good height as well. Around the shoulder. Just a little bit between the shoulder and the helmet. That is always difficult to control. You've got to get right on top of it. He wasn't able to do it. Second wicket for Sadi. And now, oh, that is also a bouncer that took off that's flicked away nicely finds the boundary then a nice way to end the over 40 for two that's edge there's no third slip and we'll find the boundary he went hard at it Sebar Oh, straight down third slip, uh, thought that would have been. Oh, he does go hard at it, and it flies. Look at that, loose drive. That would have gone straight to third slip, would have been catching height. 
for Brendan McCullum, but he wasn't there. Too much work for Martin Gupto at second slip. Last ball. Well played into the over. That is the lunch break on day two. India 63 for two. Goes again, taken. Could not keep it down. Excellent catch, this. Yes, and Flynn is the man diving across. Sebab's waiting. I don't know why. And this is a big blow for India. And from New Zealand's point of view, just right. Just the wicket they would have wanted. First over after the break. Look at that, hitting it in the air. And it's an excellent catch from Flynn. Moving to his right, not his natural side. And it was at an awkward height. Really good catch from Daniel Flynn. And that is a massive blow for New Zealand getting Verinda Sawag first over after lunch. Sawag walks back for 43. India 67 for three. Again, a loud shout. There was two sounds there. Now that's overthrow. They'll get another boundary. That's a four overthrow. Now, did he get some back on it? Well, he must have hit it, Ravi. Signal four. And he hasn't run, he hasn't done anything. Let's have a look. Swinging back in. Yep. A little inside edge. And it's obviously bounced before the column at third slip. And he's thrown it as everyone's appealing. And it's gone for four runs. As easy as you like. Well, Tendulkar will take that. He moves on to 12. Driven down the ground for four. He's in the slot. And that's one of Tendulkar's favourite shots. Oh, that's class. And that's Session Tendulkar's 2004. In test cricket, can you believe that? Nice way to bring it up. The straight drive down the ground. That is the Tendolka everyone loves. Warning signs from New Zealand. Staggering 8,000 runs only in boundaries. Pulled <laughs> in right through his defence. Full marks here to Doug Bracewell. He's kept the ball up. He's bowled a foolish length. And he's gone through the defense of the master. Wow, what a beauty. The stumps have been rattled. Look at the crowd. Disbelief. They have gone stone dead quiet. Cannot believe what's happened. Bracewell goes full again. Just a hint of movement. And there's a big gap between bat and pad. And that is brilliant stuff from Doug Bracewell. Shake of the head from Tendulkar. He has to walk, walk off. Gone for 17. Big blow for New Zealand. India 80 for four. A dollar a day. Doesn't get any better. Eight wickets today. 123 runs. 3.6 from 34 overs. Head on the up, but you've got to say uh, there's a pretty good shot from Suresh Raina. There are a few slip fielders who are applauding. They wouldn't mind an Indian batsman hitting on the up, on the rise. It's another good shot, and this outfield is very quick. I doubt whether anyone can catch that one. Crowd making a lot of noise. They're supporting their team here, who is uh, in a bit of a spot of bother in the second test match. He was ready for it, Suresh Rana. Just thinking, when is the next short ball going to come? And he was waiting for it. And 
And he's doing exactly that every time the line has been well, a couple of feet outside the off stump. He's guiding the balls square on the offside for fours. A great shot. This is a wonderful shot from Suresh Rana. Wasn't a bad ball at all by any stretch of imagination. What a shot that is. Inside out, over extra cover to six. Well, we've seen Suresh Raina play these shots in the one-day game. But just not allowing Jitain Patel to settle down. Lovely shot, over-pitched. And Kohli quick to pounce on it. Down the track, over the top. And over the line as well. So first six here for Virat Kohli. And the 50 partnership comes up. So with the field up, just taking his chances. Oh, well, that's a magnificent shot. Magnificent shot. With the left-hander's elegance to boot as well. Magnificent. Tremendous shot. We've seen one straight drive before. From you know who. This one was glorious as well. What? Oh, terrific shot. It's a real treat to watch Virat Kohli when in full flow. Yeah! A big turn, and the keeper is very excited. Suresh Raina has stood his ground. Just looking at those uh, Kiwi boys, you get the feeling that Raina could be in trouble here. Well, in normal circumstances, this is just a matter of um, almost routine formality that you have a look at the no-ball before. You get the third umpire's uh, decision on the referral, but there you see Suresh Raina has been saved already. Now, there it is. A little bit streaky, but he did keep it down. And did look to angle it away in that direction. Suresh Raina picks up his seventh test match half-century. Second at home. A very good half century. Over. And that'll be it. Ian Gould says over and T. So we're at Coley.
with Jabal Srinath. He mentioned uh, the stand we just saw will have chairs all round. Beautifully timed. First boundary of the morning. And Virat Kohli moving to 97. Here's Bolt with the second new ball. And driven down the ground by Dhoni. Brings up his half century in style. That's played away on the onside. He'll find the boundary. And the second Test match 100 for Virat Kohli. Excellent innings this. And the crowd loving it. Oh, you can't leave that. That is out. That has come back in. That one did not swing. It has just angled back in and seemed a little bit. You just cannot leave that, unfortunately. The new ball has worked. The first wicket of the morning, the informed player Virat Kohli. Out for a magnificent hundred. Much straighter than the previous delivery. The scramble seam. And that was plum. Different tactics by Saudi. Good bowling. The previous delivery swung away from the right-hander. Just bowled it cross seam. It's a terrific innings. Virat Kohli dismissed for 103. India lose their sixth wicket. So New Zealand have struck with the new ball. Tim South, he picked up his fourth wicket. Four for 30, 36. He's been very impressive. And Ravi Ashwin... Away. Short and wide deserved it. Terrific. They will all have an important role to play in the second innings. Daniel Flynn, Franklin, McCullum, Taylor. Game's not over yet. Oh, another one. Is that out as well? Yes, it is. Tim South is Pfeiffer. And his 50th Test match wicket. He's picked up the two big ones this morning. First Coley, now Dhoni, both LBW. Not much a swing this time. Once again, the scramble seam and trapping him in front, hitting the bat first before it hit the bat. MS Tony showing the bat. As a batsman, sometimes you don't get to know whether it's the bat first or the pad. The, it was the pad this time. And very rightly declared LPW. The skipper departs out for 62, a very good innings. India 312 for six, seven. Seven wickets down now, India for 312. And Zahir Khan. And for the crease, average of 12.24. Best to 75 against Bangladesh. And Zahir goes straight away. Down the ground for half a dozen. Good strike. That's how he should play all the time, I think. Easy. Walk down the pavilion, take guard and bang over mid on. Great delivery, and I think it's got the glove. What a wicket that is. Number six for Saudi. And that was hostile stuff. Good delivery. The direction was superb. Zahir Khan had no answer. He got in line, but couldn't put the bat away. A typical tail enders dismissal. Another very good delivery by Tim Saudi. What a test match he's had. Zahir Khan dismissed for seven. Bowls left-handed, bats left-handed, Pragyan Oja. Bowls better than he bats. 18 not out, his highest score in Test match cricket, and he's surrounded by New Zealand players. Yeah, yeah it's carried. It's gone very low to the keeper, and Pragyan Oja hasn't lasted long. Wicket number seven for Tim Saudi. This time it was the left arm spinner. Outside edge. The, the scramble seam once again. Not much of movement. An open face. Pragyan Oja, a typical tail enders defensive shot. He's been dismissed. And India lose their ninth wicket. So the new ball has worked. Pragyan Oja dismissed for not. India 3.20 for 9. Just have a look at that. 7 for 45 of 20 overs. That's Tim Saudi. Saurav Ganguly has left my side as we watch Umesh Yadav's batting uh, figures. 
And Craig McMillan has joined me, and I'm going to just keep quiet for a while and let Craig McMillan do all the talking. Morning, Sanjay. Good time to come into the commentary box. Been a good morning for New Zealand. They've gone hard with the second new ball. Tim Southey has been outstanding. Uh, what happened there? Did the ball bounce after the edge of before? It's been put down, I think, Sanjay. I think this is carried to Martin Guptill. And Southey looking for his eighth wicket. It swung late. And it's definitely carry put down. Frustration for New Zealand and for Southey. Perfect seam. Look at that. Ashwin, no feet movement. Guided it almost in and out. Another one goes down for New Zealand. And I think he got a bit rattled with that and he's uh, picked up a single on instinct. Just enough shape to get good players out. Last ball of the over. Ed and doesn't carry. In fact, India will get some runs. Another great delivery from Saudi. Swinging, full-length delivery. Just didn't carry to the keeper. 334 for nine. Straight through him. Coming around the wicket, it's worked. A treat for Trent Bolt. He's picked up his first wicket and a much-deserved one too. And New Zealand have bowled India out for 353. So getting that natural swing, and that is exactly what they got. Uh, bad, bad, inside edge. And then, well, and just kissing, just kissing the top of the leg stump. So unlucky. Uh, for Umesh Yadav, but a reward finally for uh, Bolt because he's bowled well, but that's his first wicket. So honours fairly even, you'd have to say, after the first innings. So out come the two New Zealand openers in the second innings. Uh, Brendan McCullum and Martin Guptill. And it'll be interesting to see how uh, McCullum goes. Uh, New Zealand are in the lead. He's away. Off the dreaded pair and starts off with a boundary. It's a nice punch off the back foot. Again, crashed off the back foot. Tendulkar only a spectator this time. And that's powerfully struck. Good approach here from uh, McCullum. That's a big shout. He's had a good look at it, uh, Steve Davis. Confident appeal. Leg by signal. Was it going down the leg side? No. That would have crashed into Midland legs, so very lucky there, McCullum. Fine shot through the covers for four. It's a good stride forward, and that's the thing uh, with McCullum. Just his presence there will be discomforting for the Indians because he has this ability to hit the boundaries. So there you go, 29 for no loss. And lunch will be taken here on day three. Oh, it's an inside edge. It was full. It was a full toss. Guptill's going to drive it. He may have picked it up a touch late, but it is cannoned into leg stump off the inside of the bat, and Umesh Yadav has broken through. It's the length once again. It was short the previous innings. Went for plenty of runs, but the full ball has done the trick. Very good seam position, inside edge onto the leg stump. A delivery which should have gone to the boundary. He's got a wicket for Umesh Yadav. India strike. 
New Zealand lose their first wicket. Martin Guptill dismissed for seven. Williamson, number three for New Zealand, has looked good throughout the series. 15 the first two test matches, but innings of the first test match, 16 matches. With an average of 32, minus 131 on debut against India. He's got McCullum on strike now. Deep point still in place, but just two slips in a gully now for Brendan McCullum. Beautiful outside edge, is it? Yes, it is. It was terrific delivery, Umesh Yadav. He has found a wonderful line. And just a feather from Brendan McCollum. The length once again, every time the ball has been pitched up, it has done something. Both for the Kiwis and for the Indians. Terrific seam position. Great areas. Terrific delivery from the fast bowler. He's a wicket taker. Tim bowled well in the first innings, but boy, he's come back well. McCullum dismissed New Zealand, lose their second wicket. 23. Got Tony Boliad of New Zealand, 31 for two. The captain walks out at the crease. Got 100 in the first innings, 41 test matches, close to 3,000 test runs. It cannot be a more important situation of the game than this one. Taylor drives straight away. He gets a half volley from Yadav and he is off the mark. The lovely boundary. Wasn't he? Taylor will get a couple of runs here. And that's 3,000 runs for Ross Taylor. He becomes a 12 New Zealand batsman to get uh, to that milestone. Yeah, good stuff from New Zealand skipper. That's a fine shot. Extremely well played. Good stride forward. Oh, yeah. it's edged and gone. Brilliant piece of bowling from Ashwin. Williamson's got a thin edge and a good catch at slip by Saywag. Well, how often we've seen Ashwin striking in his very first over. And you've got to watch his hands, uh, how the ball has come out here. He has the ability to get the ball uh, to go away from the right hand as well. You see, just holding up. And went at pace to Sevag as well. That's one thing good on the surface. There's bounce, the edges will carry. And Ashwin striking straight away. And his very first over. And New Zealand now in a spot of border, 69 for three. And Daniel Flynn comes out to the middle. 27 years of age, closing in on a thousand runs in test match cricket. Has good footwork, using the depth of the crease. He's made that into a short ball and got it away to the boundary. Pulled away this time, short ball. Once again, getting the treatment. Boundaries of successive balls for Flynn and New Zealand. Big gap on the offside. And he's uh, picked four easy runs. Good shot. He likes to play the square cut. And there wasn't enough room, but he just went on length. He saw the length slightly short. Trajectory quicker. We've gone past 100 New Zealand. Oh, a bit too full. So the over starts off with a boundary and finishes with a boundary. 105 for three. Oh, yeah! uh, this could be easier. Easier for the players to ask the question. And Oja is struck. And this is an important wicket for India. And once again, like in the first innings, Ross Taylor out sweeping. Not a good shot. They were just putting up a partnership. Flynn batting well at the other end. And a similar dismissal to the first innings. Plum in front. Ross Taylor will be disappointed. Losing an important wicket. At the very crucial stage of the game. New Zealand lose their fourth wicket at... 1-1-1. One, one, one. Ross Taylor dismissed for 35. 
spend a lot of time in the middle, James Franklin, in this series. He's been more inclined to defend than attack the spinners. Oh, he's charging the spinners. Different attitude this time from Franklin. He's going to get a boundary for that. That's a good hit. That's more like the Franklin we know. Good use of the feet, always looking to hit straight. And he puts the pressure back on the off spinner. We've seen in uh, Bangalore, as the track record suggests, second inning scores are a little lower. Do you think that the spinners will come into play? Or even the fast bowlers will have a chance? Well, I think both of them. Uh, you know, the way Bangalore track has responded over the fourth and fifth days, generally the cracks open up. But, you know, fortunately today it's been a bit sunny. So the cracks will open up and uh, it will keep a bit lower there. Why the fifth wicket? Ashwin getting Finn now. There's poor short selection. Again, looking for the cut. It was a little too close to him. And Sevaz having a field there. You fielded with him enough or you played with him enough. He's making look, uh, catching look easy there in the slip corner. Yeah, he's, he's had some fantastic catches in the last two test matches. You know, some brilliant ones, some like this. Beautifully bowled, but too close to cut, and and brilliant catching by Seva. You need you need the closing catchers if you have to be a successful bowler, and and if you want to win matches, you need to take these catches, and uh, you know it's a big blow for New Zealand. Yes, they've lost half their side now. Flynn goes for 31, 140 for five. So Kruger Van White comes out to the middle. And, uh, a big job ahead of him. Played well in the first innings uh, to get a half century. Nice bowling. Far from the over. 123 for four. And it looks like it's going to be the afternoon tea break. A good session for India. New Zealand resumed after lunch. 29 without loss of both McCullum and Guptill there. And they've faced 30 overs this session, and they've lost four wickets for 94. Uh, so easily that could have gone from the inside edge onto the stump. So, but fortuitous was uh, Kruger Fanwick and get four runs. Oh, turn him, turn him. He was walking down the wicket, and yet he banged it in short. And he's taking a blow on the helmet. Let's hope he's okay. Let's get the last second. I think Van Vake will just take his eye off the ball. Yeah, there. Yeah. That's nasty. That will certainly give you a little bit of a headache. Oh, it's short. Short again. This time he wears it on the elbow. So... He's going to have to try and find a way to get around this Van Vaik. Oh, that's a good shot. He's picked a spot and he's found the boundary. So the lead now, 200 for New Zealand. It's 188 for five. Ah! Oh, that's a good shot. That's a very good shot. It looked out. And the finger has gone up. Yeah, just thrusty, thrusty net pad straight down the middle of the wicket. And again, it was a quicker one from Ashwin. That is just smashing into middle, middle and leg stump. No problems. Ian Gould says, yep, straight enough for me. And Kruger van Veik is on his way. Ashwin has picked up another. It's his third. Van Veik is out for 31. And New Zealand lose their sixth wicket at 195. That's brought Doug Bracewell now to the crease. He made 43 in the first innings. All those kind of runs here will be so handy. It'll be like gold dust here. Lovely shot. Magnificent shot. What a good shot that is. 214 for six. Yeah! Oh, beautifully bowled. Beautifully bowled. Franklin. His patience gave way in the end. And Ashwin, what a lovely delivery. Franklin really didn't have to go and do what he did. 
because uh, he'd taken a single just a couple of deliveries earlier trying to make it. there was just a little bit of turn there beautifully bowled by Ashwin you got to say that but it's a waste of a wicket Franklin's thrown his wicket away and New Zealand could have done with him being there but they're now 216 for seven 216 for seven Tim Southey is the new batsman so there has been a change in order oh, yes. oh there it is Bolden threw that one up this time Tim Southey couldn't resist and he's had his poles knocked over that's five for, for R. Ashwin brilliant stuff from the off spinner yeah stop class stuff from the off spinner Tim Southey looked just a little bit tired from his uh, bowling efforts the feet are not quite going to the pitch of the ball, but this is a beautiful delivery. Look at the way he's tossed it up in the air. The classical off spinner's dismissal, inviting the cover drive and then going through between bat and pad. Beautifully done. Lovely to watch. Ashwin getting five wickets with that dismissal. 222 for eight. Tita Mattel, a new man for New Zealand in number 10. Blow for New Zealand. Ashwin in the last over. Now Oja. And India looking to wrap things up tonight. Well, again, another straight delivery that somehow Doug Brace was played around. Pitched in line. That is out as well. And gotta get bat on ball. Steve Davis raises that finger again. And Oja. Picks up his second wicket. Back-to-back -back wickets for India. Bracel's gone for a useful 22. New Zealand 2-2-2 two, two, two for nine. And this is coming up to five o'clock, so this could well be the last ball of the day. And he takes the single. And looks as if this could be stumps. Yes. Steve Davis puts his hands out. The bails come off. We've had uh, another fascinating day of uh, Test Match Cricket. New Zealand ending day three, 232 for nine. And the overall lead, 244. Oh, nicely played, Jet and Patel, that's drifted in, and he has whipped that away. Through mid-wicket for four. Well, the lead is now 250, 251, to be uh, precise. There again, at 136 kilometers per hour, bowling to the number 10 batsman. That is just not good enough, just not good enough. You know that it's a number, it's a last wicket, and you're still trying to come and warm yourself up or loosen yourself up. Oh, straight down the ground, lovely from Jitten Patel. Has it gone all the way? No, one bounce. Into the boundary for four. A little bit of payback here for uh, Zahir Khan. That's a very good shot. Not what you would call a technically correct shot because he's taken his front foot out of the way, but this is a T20 kind of shot, but it's very, very effective. 
and uh, New Zealand need all these runs. 244, the lead now 256. time Jitan Patel not happy with that everybody behind the stumps went up spontaneously as soon as the ball went past the bat and the hundredth wicket at home for uh, Zaheer Khan Jitan Patel still not happy but that is the end of the uh, New Zealand innings yes a late decision well, he's still shaking his head uh, I see the whole team waiting for the replay <laughs> It's, uh, it's missed the bat. <laughs> That's why Jitin Patel was uh, disappointed. This will give you a clear idea. In fact, front on, uh, you got the impression that it might have just missed the bat. But the New Zealand innings uh, has come to an end. 248 all out. So India will need 261 to win. So that's how the uh, New Zealand uh, second innings uh, panned out. Plenty of starts, but no one really getting uh, the big score. Not a single half century in that uh, batting card. See Ross Taylor again, 35, with some good contributions in that middle order. 35, 31, 41, 31 uh, for Pan Mike as well. And a very useful 22 from Chitan Patel. And India's bowling, Ashwin taking five wickets. Zaheer got uh, the wicket of Jitan Patel, the last wicket to fall. The other got the first two wickets and I was also chipped in with uh, two wickets 248 uh, the uh, New Zealand total in the second innings he goes for it this time the timing is good and the first boundary of the second innings good uh, positive stroke there from Gambit you could see it with the stride as well going into the shot yes there was a little bit of room offered around the off some look at that big stride forward and then uh, nice follow through of the bat Smack bang in the middle of the bat as well. Very good shot that from Gautam Gambhir. It's actually the first time in close to two and a half years that McCallum's had the gloves on in a test match, Ravi. And that was against Australia and Hamilton two and a half years ago. So New Zealand certainly don't lose anything by not having Kruger Van Vake on the field today and having a replacement like Brendan McCallum. And they've got Watling in the slip cordon, who's uh, an excellent fielder. Four boundaries uh, so far. Two by Gambir, two by Sevak. Yeah, this was Gambir early on. Fine shot. It was a terrific shot from Sevak on the up. And then again, Gambir through the onside. 50 for no wicket, target of 261. Gambhir has looked really good. He's had the bulk of the strike. And this is the first 50 runs partnership for this pair in 12 innings. He's been able to punch it through the covers. Okay, McCullum is appealing. A couple of others have joined him. There are two or three from the New Zealand camp out there wondering what all that was about good swim position once again movement away from the right hander Brendan McCullum behind the stumps not being supported by the bowler they've seen what's happened to Jeetan Patel the last wicket of the New Zealand innings so you never know Hit and miss from Sehwag. Yeah, you were talking about Gautam Gambhir. It's looked good. To see the strikes and it. Brenda Sehwag very good off his pads. On the up that time. It's the front foot movement which has made the difference. That tentativeness is gone. That's the best of the lot. It was off the back foot. But the major difference has been the big stride forward which is which has put him in a position to get forward and every time it's pitch short. Time to find leg. It's been a very ordinary bowling performance from New Zealand. The game will run away from them very, very quickly. They keep bowling six deliveries in six different positions. This one through the offside. 
Short again, trying a different length. And this was the best of all. Bang down the ground. And Sehwag at his best. India have got off to a flying start. 67 for no loss. Gambhir batting on 33, Sehwag 28. The runs have come in quick time. Partnership of 67 in just 66 deliveries. Gautam Gambhir, a marked difference in the batting. Virendra Sehwag as usual. Good strike forward for Gambhir. Shot three covers in the up. That's been the best. In a marked difference in the first and the second innings from the Indian openers. For a man who's been under a little bit of pressure. The feet have moved well. Oh, that's a nice start from Sarah. I'm going to go all the way. Dropped on the boundary by the ball boy. But uh, he'll bring up six. This will be a real test for Jeetan Patel. It's probably the first time in the series he's bowled at Sehwag. And he will not hold back. Over mid-off. Just a second delivery. Bang. Just opening the face at the last minute to hit the ball over the mid-off fielder. I still remember an innings he played against Muthaya Murli Dharan in Mumbai. For a double hundred, 281. Oh. Oh, that's nicely played. Just a touch of width. It's not a bad delivery. It's just been made to look like that because Sehwag is so quick on his feet. He's forced Chetan Patel to bowl that length. Fraction shot, width. He's so strong. Allowing the ball to come on to him, opening the face of the bat. And cutting him behind point. He spoke about Risk Salmon. His name is Virender Risk Sevag. He knows no other way to play. Yeah. Oh, there you go. The risk has not worked this time. Patel has thrown it up there. Sevag has come down the wicket and he's run straight past one. Only he can do this. Nobody else in world cricket. A hit over mid off, then a cut off the back foot. And the fourth delivery stepped out and bowled. That's Virendra Sevak for you. India lose their first wicket. And Jeetan Patel strikes. Oh, very close. This could be out. Inside edge, probably the only thing that might have saved Gambia. Yeah, he's looking at the bat. Line, everything was pretty good. I think the inside edge, just a hint. Yes, I think that's the only thing that could have saved him. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And that is the reason why uh, the umpire gave it not out. There's something that's creeping in too, isn't it? Without uh, the use of the DRS, the batsman straight away showing the umpire the bat. You see that fo footage there of Gambia. As soon as there was appeal, he threw his bat up and waved it at the umpire. Now, I'm not, I don't like this at all. Uh, MS Dhoni did the same thing. Have a look. Here it comes. There. Well, that's an interpretation. He could as well be saying to the non-striker, no run there. Nice, Sonny. Love it. Very good. We'll leave it at that. Good decision anyway. A very good decision. Nicked and gone. This time there is no mistake. Ross Taylor, a good catch from the New Zealand skipper, and Bolt has got his man Gambia and flated a couple outside that off stump and finally gets an edge. Well, that is a poor shot. And that could well be because of the fact that he had been kept scoreless. So very good over that. Last couple of overs. And that really is giving catching practice to Ross Taylor. He doesn't miss those. Came at a comfortable height, went at speed, but comfortable height. A reward for Trent Bolt. But why was he trying to do that? You could actually damage your leg trying to kick the ball away. It's a hard ball. Nevertheless, Gumby 34, it's 83 for two. 173 runs to win their 88 for two in their second innings. They've lost both their openers.
Tendulkar and uh, Pujara, the two men uh, out there in the center. Catch it! It was that straight to the fielder. You can't really technically call it a catch because it was hit pretty firmly to Flynn. Yes, yeah, one that either sticks in the stomach or it doesn't. Off the arm. Now, if it had bounced up off the arm into the air instead of hitting the helmet or the face, it might have gone up and McCullum or someone might have had a chance. Jet and Patel to continue. But, uh, pulls out that little lap shot, Tinduka. He plays that so well. The 50 partnership comes up. And you generally see Tinduka play this shot from outside the line of off stump. Doesn't play it too often on the pads. Nicely controlled and just turned around the corner as uh, Ravi Shastri jo joins me in the commentary box. Yes, good partnership this 50 now they've added. And the runs now just beginning to flow. Pujara has played some uh, attacking shots. Oh, he's put that down, there was a chance. There was a chance here, he was beaten in the flight. And this is a miss stumping. This is beautifully bold. Nice drift going past the outside edge. And a pretty straightforward chance. That's what happens when you don't keep. He does not keep much at all now, Brendan McCallum. Unfortunately, Kruger van Veek is off the field. And he doesn't uh, do a lot of keeping at all. He wouldn't have put the gloves on for uh, a number of weeks. Well, this could be a costly error. It's Pujara. Let's take a look at the highlights of this partnership between Sachin Tinduka and Keshwa Pujara. In full of some wonderful shots. Yes, Pujara was the uh, aggressor early on and then Tendulkar joined the act. Good shots uh, all around the wicket. Short ball was attempted on uh, quite a few occasions to Pujara. Got hold of that one. So these I think they're coming off. Because I mentioned earlier there's a drizzle, but they've, uh, they reckon that it's uh, been carrying on for some time now. So the ball has got wet. And it's a steady drizzle now. So the ground staff getting the uh, covers on. It has been overcast. It has threatened to rain for some time now. He's bowled him again. Right through his defence. Very similar to the first innings, again looking to play across the line. The middle stump is uprooted. And for the second time in this test match, New Zealand have gone through the defence of Sajjan Tendulkar. Great stuff, Tim Southey. That's what we're talking about, wicket to wicket, nice and straight. LBW are bold this time. That scrambled seam and it comes off the front pad. Cannons into middle stump. And look at the joy for Southey. Picked up the big wicket of Tendulkar. Disappointment for the little master. He is gone for 27. And India now 152 for three. This is better. Gets this it. is better. This is better. Oh, he's taken that. And the finger has gone up. That is beautifully bold and a terrific catch. Flynn was the man running back. He's taken the bat and pad. Patel was troubling Pujara. And now this is a big wicket. And New Zealand right in this now. Tendulkar first to go after the break. Now Pujara. And look, the rewards of tossing the ball up. Bowling it slowly. This is bowled at 84 kilometers per hour. What a magnificent effort this is by the fielder. Yes, the ball was in the air for a while. But this is great cricket. This is wonderful bowling. And even better fielding. And New Zealand back in the match, 158 for four. Pujara 48. Patel troubled Pujara quite a bit. He should have gone earlier before the break, stumped by McCallum. But he went past the outside edge on quite a few occasions. And this time gets the inside edge. Yeah! Oh, now that was a 
big risk shot taken by Suresh Raina. And he wouldn't want to see that again. And look at the expression on the faces of the fans because this is a test match and India are in a very, very delicate position. Oh, what a wicket that was for Patel. Well, he succumbed to pressure. The previous over was such a good over from Jitain Patel. And all he was trying to do was break free. Kohli cannot believe it at the non-striker's end. He's turned his back. Raina succumbing to pressure, out bowled for a duck, and it's 166 for five. Oh, that bat was in the way. Had he missed it, he'd have been in big trouble, but he hasn't missed it, and it's gone all the way. He's such a good player of spin. That's why I keep saying that fielder has to go behind for the right-hander. He knew exactly where the field was. And a strong shot. He's a strong boy, Mr. Tony. A top edge. That's carried all the way. We still have a chance. India, on the other hand, would like this partnership to carry on. They played well, these two. Yeah, both innings, first and second innings. It's been, uh, Problem for the New Zealanders. In the ounce of luck, I think they've bowled pretty well for the most part. Tony and Donny have stood firm. Driven straight down the ground. Lovely way to finish the over. That is a class shot. And it's 50 for Varek. Coley follows his 100 in the first innings. And now 50 in the second. He is bringing India home. 2.52 for five. India getting closer, punched off the back foot. Five more to win. Tony moves on to 42. What an innings it has been under pressure. Back to full length and just put it into the gap. What a transformation. 90 runs and scored by these two together and the sweep this time that's into the stands he's done that before MS Dhoni he's finished it off with the six the World Cup final and now the series and that's been done with ease India win the series 2-0 I've been joined by Simon Dool. Fantastic win. No, absolutely outstanding from the Indian side. They win this Test Series 2-0. And it has been this partnership again that troubled New Zealand in the first innings between Virat Kohli and MS Dhoni that has done the job. It's taken India to a Test match win and they finish 262 for five.
India getting home. 262 for five. Virat Kohli, 51 not out. And they won the test by five wickets and also won the series 2-0, courtesy of wins in Hyderabad in the first test.